breaking news. See the response IPOP members gave to the Islamic cleric comparing IPOP to Boko Haram. The indigenous people of Biafra is one group that have really gained a lot of supporters in some days past. An Islamic cleric made a statement against this group some hours ago, which really caused a lot of mixed reactions online. In this statement of his, he compared Biafra with the most deadly terrorists in Nigeria, popularly known as Boko Haram. Many of their many of Biafran supporters they took it to their different social media to drag this cleric over a statement and said this cleric must repeat and re sorry this cleric must reverse the statement he has just made by comparing Ipo to Boko Haram. But the indigenous people of Biafra also reacted to this. I have finally hit back at this cleric for comparing them with this deadly terrorist group. Below is a screenshot showing their response to this cleric, to this Islamic cleric. According to the group, IPOP is after self-determination, which is a constitutionally guaranteed right. While Boko Haram is a terrorist organization committing crimes. The statement partly read, We the global family of the indigenous people of Biafra, under the leadership of our great leader, Mazinam Dikanu, we read with incredibility a provocative remarks credited to a filthy-looking so-called acclaimed Islamic cleric in the months of Shikai Gumi, that bandits and freedom fighters are the same. Gumi, in the said media report, allegedly compared agitators of Biafran and Odudua republics with his Fulani bandits rampaging the north and ravaging the entire south. Such a statement, if true, has simply unmasked and exposed the view identity of this man masquerading as an Islamic cleric, when in actual fact is one of the ardent supporters of Fulani terror terrorism. With such ignorance, laden utterance from a supposed Islamic scholar, the whole the world does not even need to look far for the real sponsors of this banditry and terrorism in Nigeria. We now know those behind the killing spread an evil agenda to decimate the indigenous ethnic populations and non-Muslim communities across Nigeria. Before now, Nigerians were deceived in believing that bandits and other agents of terror on, of terror on rampage all over Nigeria were invisible and without a fixed address. How come this pretender and self-acclaimed cleric knew where to found the bandits? He even posed for a picture with gun welding murderers and was very proud of it. How was it that this man managed to locate the hideout of this mass murderers but the Nigerian effort could not. How come there hasn't been any invasion or bombing of any of any these bandits and the settlements in the north? But the same Nigerian efforts was quick to deploy fighter jets to be terrorizing innocent citizens in Holy. Not only did she. Not only did Gumi wine and dine with their bandits, he has also suddenly become their advocate. He has gone to the extent of comparing blood suckers with self determined activists. What a national embarrassment. In his wiped mind, Gumi 
can no longer differentiate between self-determination, which is a constitutionally guaranteed right, and terrorism, which is a crime. The hypocrisy has confirmed our earlier position that terrorism and banditry in Nigeria are becoming agenda to the caliphate. Thank you viewers for listening to this news. Viewers, I only have one question from this so-called Islamic cleric. How do you know? How does he know that Ipo is a criminal while the real criminal are the innocent ones how do you know that and again he said something consigning um consigning the bandits comparing the bandits with ipod members saying that he is proud to post a picture with gun welding murderers you can imagine that that means that he, the supporter of this, is just, not just him alone. Let me say he's part of the sponsors of this so-called bandits. And again, my question is, how come there haven't been any invasion or bombing of any bandit settlement in the north? But the same Nigerian Air Force they were quick to deploy fighter jets to be terrorizing innocent citizens in every area. Why is it that? Why can't they use this jet to fresh out this so-called uh, X-Men? Why are they doing, using this jet for the innocent ones? Why? I think this dialogue will solve nothing. How would someone who is a well-known Clary, compare uh, uh, IPOB members, compare IPOB with Boko Haram. You can imagine calling IPOB a terrorist group. Why the real terrorist group are the innocent ones? You can imagine. How dare you compare? And he can call himself a well known Islamic cleric. All these things will not even move the nation forward. It will not. Defending criminals will never move the country forward. It, it will keep making this country to, to, to be in more dilemma, to be in more problems. If they refuse to say the truth, if they refuse to let the truth out from the basket, that is it. It can never, 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 never make this country go forward. But will only, it will only lead to more conflicts. If care is not taken, it will lead to more conflict since they have decided that they will never say the truth about the sponsors of this so-called X-Men and Boko Haram. I think this Islamic cleric should apologize for his statements about IPOM members. He should apologize for his statement for comparing the real um the real innocent sorry innocent fighter fighters comparing innocent fighters to the the the, the, the criminals the terrorists terrorist group i think she apologize so viewers what do you take what do you think about what i've just said if i'm right please drop any of anything you have in mind on the comment section and if I'm not right as well, you can also bring your own opinion. Also drop them below the comment section. And please, 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 like and share this news as well. Thank you.